Today we learned about multiplying special cases, so that's multiplying binomials, and there's two sets of special cases that have special rules that make them easy for us to multiply. The first one is when I have this, like x minus a times x plus a, so notice they both have x and a, and one has a minus, one has a plus. Anytime you have x minus a times x plus a, this is going to work itself out to be x squared minus a squared. So for example, if I had x plus 3, times x minus 3, this would simply be a squared, so that's my x, so it would be x squared minus, because it's always a minus sign, and then whatever a is, which is 3, and 3 squared would be 9, so the answer would be x squared minus 9. If I had x plus 5 times x minus 5, then the answer would end up being x squared minus 25. And for a third example, if I had 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3, when I multiplied those, it would give me 4x squared minus 9, because I multiplied my 2 and my 2 and my x and my x and my 3 and my 3. My second type of special case is x minus a squared. And anytime I have x minus a squared, that is always going to equal x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. So I'm going to highlight my a value in green. So whatever a is, is going to go here where all the greens are. So in my first problem, a is 3. And then I'm going to highlight whatever the x portion of this is in yellow. So x is whatever is in front. Well, that's just x in our problem. So when I work this out, it says that it's going to be x squared. Well, that's just the first part of it squared. So that's still going to be x squared minus 2 and then times a, well a was whatever was green, and that was 3, times whatever was yellow, and that part was x, plus, and then it says a squared, well a would be the green part again, so that would be in this case 3 squared, which would be 9. Now I can simplify this and make this a little bit prettier, so it actually becomes x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then if I have x minus 5 squared, well, the x part of it's still the same. My a part in this problem is going to be the 5, so this one is going to equal x squared minus 2 times, instead of a, I'm going to have 5 times, instead of, well, I'm still going to have x there, plus, m, and I have at the end, I'm supposed to have a squared, which would be 5 squared, and that is going to be 25. So I can work this out and simplify it a little bit, and it's going to become x squared minus 10x plus 25, and that would be my final answer. And then my third special case is x plus a squared, and x plus a squared is equal to x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. So this is very similar to the problem we just had, except instead of having a plus, it has a minus. So whenever I have these, again, I need to identify whatever a and x are. We'll notice it has x at the beginning, so I don't have to worry about that part. But I am going to identify a. Well, a in my first problem is 4. So it's going to go wherever I had an a at in this original problem. So that would be x squared plus 2. Instead of a, I'm going to put in 4 times x plus 4 squared, which would be 16. And if I simplify that, it's really x squared plus 8x plus 16. And then I have x plus 6 squared. Well, again, a, I need to identify that, is going to be 6, so it's going to be x squared plus 2 times 6 times x plus 6 squared, which is 36. So I have x squared plus 12x plus 36. Now, I would like to remind you that if you have a problem like x plus 4 squared, you can always use the box method and multiply this if you would rather do that. So it just means that both of your sides are x plus 4. 
and x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, x times 4 is 4x, and 4 times 4 is 16, so my problem is x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 16, and I can combine my 4x's together, so I really have x squared plus 8x plus 16. So you're more than welcome to um, do the box method on this problem.